A few years ago, there was few of us talking about edge computing, uh, and the, the biggest change is that a lot more people are talking about edge computing, particularly Mac or multi-access edge computing. Uh, we've seen first some of the vendors trying to figure out what they could do in that part of the technology, uh, and then the mobile operators uh, looking at what this can bring for their businesses. So I think we moved from a technology conversation to a solution conversation. So how does that help me in my business? Uh, both today and in the future in the road to 5G. So we actually started showcasing uh, Mac Breakout last year uh, and what we found out is that uh, it's not just about breaking out the traffic and having that ability but figuring out what are the applications that uh, really uh, need that breakout and uh, being deployed at the edge of the network. And that's what we've been doing for the last 12 months with our customers. So we have a large base of customers where we deployed our traffic management solution across the world. And we already deployed in more than 120,000 cells, serving 100 million customers, subscribers. We get a pretty good idea of what the different applications require. So we started talking with some of our customers which are interested in figuring out what Mac Breakout can bring for their business as new revenue streams. Uh, we came uh, down to uh, one solution which they're uh, very happy to, uh, to work with us, which is uh, video gaming. So the ability of uh, moving a, uh, the capacity of processing uh, graphics intensive uh, video games from your home computer to the edge cloud. And that's an application that really requires the low latency because you're streaming high quality render of the game to the, to the device and then playing back to the, to the edge cloud and gamers know that any millisecond of delay will impact their gaming ability. So we've been able to bring that experience to, uh, to the mobile phone and people can play those games wherever they are. And that requires both the Mac breakout for the low latency and being able to host graphics intensive uh, applications uh, as well as the uh, consistent latency. So even in, under congestion uh, uh, situations. Uh, with this, we've proved that in an LT network, this is a service you can launch today uh, and, uh, and bridge the gap towards 5G, uh, which brings the promise of providing that ability every time, anywhere. When you put it like that, people think, I have already a number of boxes in my infrastructure and there's another box coming in. But what's actually happening, and uh, we, we've been working with some virtualization partners uh, we've announced a partnership with the Red Hat where we create an architecture to cope with those solutions. So instead of just putting more boxes, we're helping the operators to build a virtual infrastructure and changing the applications they're running in those locations to be able to run a software uh, in that virtual infrastructure. So we're actually replacing the existing uh, elements by a data center or a small scale data center that is powerful enough to run these applications and then you start moving those applications to the virtual infrastructure. So it's important, and we see that transition happening, that you move from monolithic appliances to an infrastructure that the operator builds, and then we as the application providers are able to come and bring our soft applications and integrate and make sure that they all work together. That's also one of the focus of Mac standardization activities is making sure that you have a standard how those applications cooperate at the edge of the network. Well, we've been focusing exactly on building applications that uh, benefit from that location. So we believe that uh, to provide the type of applications we're looking for and solving the problems and the challenges that the carriers have of more data, more low latency applications uh, and more uh, interactive applications like video streaming and gaming, this is the right place to actually uh, uh, deliver those high quality uh, solutions. So we've always been there, we've seen there, and uh, we continue building more and more applications that help them uh, address that challenge. So until now, we've been looking at uh, smartphone usage and more interactive applications on smartphone, but with IoT, uh, both consumer, industrial, enterprise IoT, you're gonna have a ton of more uh, different applications, and you need to make sure that the network is intelligent enough and being able to adapt in a real-time situation to those applications. And that's what Vazona is all about. For gaming, and what we're doing is we're moving that home computer to the cloud, 
and we have a client running on the smartphone that gets the high quality rendered uh, graphics and then you play back the controls. So you do need a very low latency for this to actually perform properly. It doesn't work on a, an average LTE latency. So we're breaking out the traffic at the edge. So we are identifying what your phone is doing. You can be doing emails in the background and we let those emails or downloads continue to go through the normal um, path. But when we identify the gaming application and we know that there's a gaming server uh, running here because we're hosting it, so we can pass that traffic on. So that means that you have this low latency and then you can go and then you can go and play your game just like you'd play with your computer. So the game is starting, I think that there's a bit of animation when you start for the game. So the alternative of doing it this way is people try to port those games to these devices. However, the, they're becoming more and more powerful, but it's not comparable with a graphics card that you can put on a computer. So you'd never be able to have the same quality of rendering image uh, where these things well, it really moves fast and, and you see the, the colors and you see the shades and everything like this. Uh, so the, the, the people that are heavy gamers, they really ap appreciate their uh, home uh, experience. But then when we go mobile and the application is on mobile, it's not exactly the same thing. Now, this way, what you have, and I think I'm going to die here, but you can see that we can move pretty fast and everything renders fast and reacts fast. Mm -hmm.